If a hacker got access to just one of your passwords, how long do you think it'll take them to ruin your life? One week? One day, maybe? Your email, your bank, even your business, all gone in minutes. Just one weak link is all it takes. And that's why tools like NordPass exist. But is NordPass still the safest, easiest way to manage your logins? Or is it falling behind the competition? Well, I'm going to give you the answer to that question in this comprehensive review of NordPass. I will highlight where NordPass excels and where it falls short, and then we'll see how it stacks up against the competition. I've tested over a dozen tools like LastPass, Dashlane, and ProtonPass, but NordPass stood out in some surprising ways. Stick around, because I'll also share what most reviews don't tell you, and the one feature that completely changed how I manage my online privacy. You can also find links for NordPass and some of the competitors down in the description if you want to check those out. Alright, let's jump right into it by taking a look at how NordPass feels to use. Because who wants a password manager that feels like a puzzle to use? NordPass is built by the same team behind NordVPN, and you can tell. It's polished and beginner-friendly. You'll see a familiar layout on all platforms, a sidebar where you find a password sharing and can organize your passwords into folders. And even if you're not tech-savvy, NordPass guides you through setup and importing your passwords, making the onboarding process pretty painless. The browser extension works well for autofilling logins. And once the extension is installed, it automatically detects login fields. To organize your vault, you can create as many folders and tags as you want. There's even an offline mode so that if you're already logged in on a device, you can unlock your vault without internet access. Great for if you're traveling or end up somewhere where connectivity is spotty. Overall, NordPass is very easy to use, which is a big win if you just want something that works without a steep learning curve. It's smooth to use, but what about security? This is where NordPass shines. Well, it uses XCHACHA 20 encryption to lock up your vault, and it's an advanced algorithm considered to be even more future-proof than the already unbreakable AES encryption that most managers use. NordPass is also based in Panama, which is outside the US and European spying alliances. As a result, it doesn't fall under the Five Eyes or any other data-sharing alliance, which is beneficial for your privacy. Zero-knowledge encryption is also the default here, so not even NordPass can read your data. And on top of that, there's multi-factor authentication. You can add a second factor via authenticator apps like Google Authenticator, or use security keys, backup codes, and even biometrics to log in. NordPass also throws in some extra security features like a data breach scanner, which scans the dark web for any leaked passwords or information of yours, and a password health checker. It also offers emergency access, so you can designate a trusted person to get into your account if you're ever locked out. Putting all that together, NordPass not just meets but exceeds the industry standard security expectations. And while no system can be 100% bulletproof, NordPass's security practices come pretty close, making it a trustworthy vault for your passwords. And hey, before we dive deeper, if you're finding this breakdown helpful, make sure to hit that like button so I know. Strong encryption is great, but does that actually make daily life easier? That's where features come in. You know, useful stuff that helps make using the password manager easier. NordPass has all the essentials and some nice extras. One of them is multi-device sync, which lets you sync your vaults across multiple devices. Add a new password on your laptop and it immediately shows up on your phone. There's a built-in password generator that you can use to create random, strong passwords. You can customize the length, the type, so whether it's words or just characters, and include the use of numbers or even special characters. You can securely share individual logins or notes with trusted contacts. NordPass encrypts the shared item end-to-end, -end, so only the recipient, who also needs to be using NordPass, can see it. NordPass also supports PassKeys, a new passwordless login standard that big players like Google and Apple are pushing. Instead of typing a password, you can use a passkey that's tied to your device and protected by biometrics, like Face ID or a fingerprint. The best part? They can't be fished or stolen in the same way traditional passwords can. With NordPass, you can create, store, and use passkeys right alongside your regular logins. Lastly, the browser extension is solid. It'll prompt you to save new logins and then autofill them on return visits flawlessly. But like many managers I've tested, it sometimes misses on filling credit card details, but it reliably handles usernames and passwords on pretty much every site. Before we move on to the pricing, there are two interesting additional tools that are worth highlighting. First, live text scanning. On mobile, NordPass can scan paper or images to pick up text like credentials on a printed sheet or a credit card and save it securely. Second, email masking. NordPass can generate one-time email aliases for website signups. You enter the alias on a site, 
NordPass forwards emails from that alias to your real inbox, then you can disable delete it. This keeps your real email private and reduces spam. Features are nice, but how much is it going to cost you? Let's break down the pricing. NordPass has a straightforward pricing model with free, premium, and family tiers. The free plan is fairly generous compared to other password managers today. You can store an unlimited number of passwords and notes and sync them across your devices, but you can only log into one device at a time. You also don't get advanced tools like secure sharing, emergency access, breach scanner, or password health with the free plan. But for a single user who just needs basic password storage, it's perfectly usable. The premium individual plan costs about $1.99 per month if billed yearly, but you can save more by paying $37.53 for two years. This unlocks all features, unlimited simultaneous logins. That means you can stay logged in on your phone, laptop, tablet, and even work PC all at the same time. Secure sharing, emergency access, password health, breach scanner, email masking, all that good stuff. Premium users can technically store up to three gigabytes in attachments, but it's 50 megabytes per file, 50 files per item. NordPass also has business plans that are essentially premium for up to five users at around $3.99 per month, billed yearly. And just a side note, you can actually get much cheaper deals by using the link I've put in the description. So I want to talk a bit about what I personally liked and disliked while using NordPass. First and foremost, the security is top-notch. It uses cutting-edge XCHA-CHA 20 encryption and a strict zero-knowledge model. Its location in the privacy-friendly country of Panama is a bonus. On top of that, I appreciate the extra security tools, the built-in password health and data breach scanner. Usability is another strong point. NordPass's interface is clean, simple, and very intuitive. I never felt overwhelmed by clutter. Finding my logins was easy thanks to the search function and organization tools. I also loved how many extra features NordPass came with. Email masking in particular is really useful since it lets me sign up for new sites without giving my real email, cutting down on spam, and giving me a lot more control over my privacy. Finally, I have to mention the pricing advantage. NordPass is quite easy on the wallet. Now for what I didn't really like, starting off with a free plan that only lets you log in on one device at a time, which in my opinion, completely defeats the purpose of the multi-device sync. Another minor quirk that I have with all Nord products, not just NordPass, is the double login system. You first log in with your Nord account, then also enter a separate master password for the vault. <sighs> this two-step login can sometimes feel really tiring, but it's part of how they keep the vault zero knowledge. But if it bothers you, you can adjust the extension settings or use a security key for faster unlocks. All right, we've objectively seen what NordPass can do. We've seen my subjective opinions on it. And now we're going to take a quick look at how it stacks up against the competition. LastPass is up first and offers free and premium versions, but NordPass generally has the edge on security and price. NordPass uses XChaCha 20 encryption over LastPass's standard AES 256, which are basically both impenetrable, but after their messy 2022 breach, I can't recommend LastPass over NordPass. Dashlane is next and is known for being that super premium manager with extra perks like a VPN and dark web monitoring. Unfortunately, Dashlane is significantly more expensive, costing almost twice what NordPass costs. Dashlane could be appealing for all its extra features. But for most users, NordPass offers comparable or better core features at a fraction of the cost. Bitwarden is open source and extremely affordable, costing just about $10 for an entire year of premium. It's very popular with more tech-savvy users. It runs on practically any platform and even offers self-hosting. But it can get very technical for the average user. NordPass, on the other hand, has a slicker, more polished UI that's easier to use and more welcoming. In practice, if you want maximum value, flexibility, and transparency, Bitwarden wins. But if you prefer something more streamlined with more built-in conveniences and are okay with paying a bit more, NordPass might be right for you. So what I realized from using NordPass and comparing it to other big names is that NordPass's competition is very stiff, but it holds its own by focusing on giving a balanced experience. It hits the sweet spot between usability, security, and value for money. Overall, NordPass is an excellent password manager, and I am confident that it is a solid choice for anyone from privacy enthusiasts to casual Netflix users. You can also watch all the password managers go head-to-head -head in a brutal showdown, or find out which cloud storage option is the best for you.